Hello, welcome to video two. At this point, you should have the flat.io screen up uh, and you should have been given this piece of paper entitled Frere Jacca with eight bars of music underneath. And this is the music that you are going to put into your very first flat.io score. So in order to create your score, follow the magic arrow on the screen to the top. And there is this little book here with a crotchet there and you want to left click on that there. Wonderful. So we're going to put the title of the piece. The title is unsurprisingly going to be Frere Jacca. And uh, we're going to start with a capital F, an R in. Now, the next letter is a little bit tricky. It's a small E with a grave accent. So in order to do that, you need to press the button that says Numlock on the numeric keypad. Just press it once to activate it. You're going to hold down the Alt key and then you're going to type in the code 0232. And as you release your fingers from the keyboard, you'll have the E with a grave accent. That code was 0232. Then you're going to press an R and an E, uh, and that's your first word. You're going to press space, capital J, A, C, Q, U, E, S. There's your title. Once you are happy with the title, including the grave accent, I do care about that. Uh, move your arrow down um, to the continue. As you move it to the continue, it becomes this kind of like kung fu finger thing. And then you want to left press on continue. Brilliant. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to choose an instrument. I say you're going to choose an instrument. Actually, I'm choosing it for you. And we are going to woodwind. So scroll down to woodwind and we're looking for a flute. Do not pick the alto flute. That's not the flute that we want. We want to pick the normal flute, which just... Oh, look, we've got a little flute arpeggio there. Um, so we just want the normal flute. and We're going to left click on that once and it will appear as if by magic on the other side of the screen. Oh, <gasps> look. So once you are happy that there is a flute, only one flute, and the type of flute that we suggest, not the alto flute, you're going to move down and you're going to left click on create, and that will create your score. Boom. Here we go. So we have our title here. We have our one, which uh, means it's page one. We have our tempo marking, and you should have all done your tempo marking lesson by now, which means crotchet equals 80, which means that there are 80 beats per minute. We have the word flute because we've selected a flute. We have our whole bar here, first bar. We have a treble clef or the G clef, uh, indicating that this line is the G. And then we have our time signature, which is 4-4. Four, four. And that time signature means that there are four beats in every bar. One, two, three, four. And the bottom number means that those beats are represented by crotchets. One crotchet, two crotchet, three crotchet, four crotchets. I am excited. I hope you are too. Let's begin. So this uh, water drop here, teardrop here thing, that represents the point that you are at in the score. And the first thing we're going to do is enter crotchets. So we're going to make sure we've got crotchets and we do have crotchets here and we're going to start with a C. So press what once you've moved this blue blob down to where the C is, left click on it and we get our first note. Then we want a D looking at this and then we want an E and then we want a C. And because the program is especially clever, it knows that we've finished our bar of four crotchets and it gives us another bar. And uh, happily, we just need to, to do exactly the same thing that we did for the first bar. Brilliant. The next bar starts with crotchets. We have two crotchets, but then it moves to a minim, which is two beats long. Crotchet is one beat long, minim is two beats long. So we start with our two crotchets, one on an E, one on an F, and then using the magic arrow, which becomes the Kung Fu finger sign, we move to a minim and we press that down. We have another bar created and we want to do that exact same bar again here. So we find the crotchets and we go E, F and then the minim G. Brilliant. We are halfway through. I'm still excited. I hope you are too. And then the bottom bit, we need to move to quavers. So a minimum is two beats, a crotchet is one beat, but the quaver is half a beat. And we want four of those. So we want G, A, G, F, E.
and then we go back to crotchets easy then we want to repeat that bar again that seems to be something of a theme g a g f e c oh no let's go back let's delete that uh find a blue thing we put it back under there again e c and then we finish off with um two crotchets c g and then a minim c and then we do the same thing again select the crotchets c g find the minim c brilliant and that's the whole piece finished but because the computer's being too clever um it's given us an extra bar we need to get rid of that bar so we go to the the word at the top that reads measure now a measure is the american word for bar we're using bars but because this is an american program it says measure so click on measure and then uh, our blue blob thing is under this last bar here so this bar is already selected and we just need to go to the minus measure here and that gives us our piece okay so once we're happy with that we want to go all the way back to the beginning I'm just using the cursor to go back to the beginning, but you can select the first note. And then I'm going to go to the top of the screen and press play. And it should, your piece should sound like this. Brilliant. See you in video three.